with relationships. I'm, listen, I'm, again, I'm not an expert, so. But this is what I think for guys. I think it's easy for guys to be in relationships and to date because we're more realistic of what we look for. Like, ready? This was my list before I got married. Fellas, if you're single, feel free to use it. Ladies, you can tell me if it's fair. Ready? Number one, no smoking. That's fair, right? Yeah. Number two, no, uh, no ugly, right? <laughs> yeah. Some of you with me, some of you are judging me. Listen, you might accidentally make a kid one day. Nobody here wants an ugly kid running at them like, Daddy, hold me. Uh-uh, that's your mama's mess. Stop playing around. Stop. <laughs> you want a cute baby. You want people to look at your baby and not be like, oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> I just ate. I got to wait 30 minutes. <laughs> Another thing on my list. Um, all right. Clean. Clean. <laughs> We're all adults here. Uh, listen, there's a lot of stuff out there. Be safe. Be protected. Uh, get tested. I was recently tested. Anybody ever been tested before? <laughs> Five people. Good. That's... <laughs> this whole section, you guys didn't even move. <laughs> you guys all just froze like, don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> if we don't move, he can't see us. <laughs> Get tested. I'm telling you, it's a relief once you know. The only bad thing was uh, when the doctor called me with the results, he should have started the phone call with, congratulations, clean. He didn't. <laughs> he just started listing STDs on the phone. Yeah, so I was like, doctor? He's like, Eric Rivera? <sighs> AIDS, HIV, gonorrhea. I was like, oh my, I am dirty as hell. <laughs> I don't know what my hand is doing on the weekends. And he just keeps going. He's like, chlamydia, syphilis, herpes. Like, I'm dying. I've got everything. <laughs> After this long, crazy list, he just goes, all negative. <laughs> I was like, douche face, you should have started there. I was writing my will. <laughs> it's the worst way to give information. Who talks like that? Like, ladies, pretend for one second, right? Your husband, your man, your boyfriend, he disappears. He's gone for like four or five days. Then he shows up again, and you're like, honey, where were you? And he was like... <laughs> strip club, illegal cockfight, punching midgets, doing blow downtown, sleeping with your sister. And he went through this crazy list, and at the end he was like, all negative. 